Howdy, howdy friends, and welcome back to another super awesome Walmart Wednesday. Today was amazing. I had a moneymaker haul, and then on my grocery haul, I saved over 75%. So definitely stay tuned to see how you can score these awesome deals as well, only using our phone. It's super easy. Um, it's rebate apps. So we buy the products, submit a receipt to the rebate apps, they give us that cash back. Um, any rebate apps that we do use are always linked down there. And if it's your first time using those apps, you will get bonuses. I bought us $5 Shopkick right now is $5 as well, which that one, um, usually it's $2. So definitely sign up for Shopkick if you haven't yet and scan a receipt or an item in store. Um, and they are all usually super easy to do. If you have any questions about any of them, drop me a comment down below. Another thing I wanted to mention is if you guys are interested in a Sam's Club membership or yours is like expired and you want to renew it, just use a different email. There is a promotion going on right now where you can get it for $14. It's normally 50, so you're saving like $36 there. So I will have it linked down in the description box below as well as in a pinned comment. Today I will in the in the video will be announcing the winner of the giveaway for reaching my 6,000 subscriber mark. Thank you guys so much for showing up, showing your support. I like, you can, you don't, I'm speechless. Like I don't, can't even explain to you guys how awesome this is. Um, so if you would just continue to share my videos with your family and friends, I would so appreciate it. You can always hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, cause I bring you awesome deals every single week, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, um, and throw little tidbits here and there. So make sure you have the notification turned on because I do post, um, usually I only post one Walmart, uh, Walmart haul a week, but deals do pop up periodically. So I will post those either on the community tab or follow me on TikTok, TikTok and Instagram, because I post videos there as well that aren't always in the, um, long form videos. So I think that's about it for now. And we'll see you guys in there. <laughs> You can pick up one of these Chic Extreme men's razors at $6.47. You'll submit to Shop Me for $4 back, and then I bought it for $2 back. It's gonna make it just 47 cents. Or if you prefer this 12 pack at $6.47, the rebates work for that as well. I'm so excited that this offer is still available. Um, if you follow me over on TikTok, I posted about this because we got like some new rebates on this Hello brand, and so I'm so glad it's still here. Sometimes those shop kicks can decrease pretty frequently. Um, so always double check your rebate apps before you go to the store, before you buy the product, make sure you have the same rebates as me because sometimes they can vary a little bit per account and that they're still valid because they can disappear anytime. So you can pick up one of the deodorants at $6.97. There is um, either one, whichever one you want. I'm totally grabbing this one for my daughter, super cute. You're gonna submit to Ibotta for $3 back. It is a limit of one, unfortunately, because on Shopkick, there are two separate offers. There's one for the unicorn, one for the sweet coconut. Unfortunately, you have to pick and choose because I bought it is only a limit of one. So then from Shopkick, you're gonna get 535 kicks between your buy and the scan, which is $2.14. And then to Swagbucks for $1.25 when you buy one, it's gonna make it just 58 cents. For Shopkick conversion, take the amount of kicks, divided by 250, that gives you the dollar amount. Darn it, I'm so bummed. My Ibotta offer on this is now in my list. So I clipped this previously, it's on the Hello um, products. It's for a dollar back, and you'd wanna get two, they're 4.97. You wanna grab two, and you would submit to Ibotta for two dollars back, a dollar on each one, to Shopkick for um, so 425 kicks on each one because it offers a limit of four plus my 10 scan kicks so it'll be three dollars and 44 cents and then two swag bucks for two dollars and 50 cents back when you buy two it's going to make them just a dollar each so if you like this safeguard hand soap we're going to get a good deal on it and like it's a pretty big good size bottle 15 ounces so they're 367 you want to pick up two of them then you would submit over to shop uh sorry Yes, you would, but okay. I bought it for $1.50 back when you buy two. And to shop kick for 350 kicks on each one, because that offer is a limit of three or four. Oh gosh. But anyway, you're going to grab two. And then your 10 scan kicks. So $2.84 back from shop kick. 
it's gonna make it $3 for the two or just $1.50 each. Definitely double check um, which ones are included on Shopkick. Just scroll down, it shows you the UPCs as well as the brands because I scanned up one of these and it didn't scan as showing it attached. So yeah, there are only certain scents. I think there's like four of them. So just double check that. Yes, I'm so glad I found these. So these Clorox Sentiva toilet cleaning gels are $2.68. You can pick up two and then you would submit over to Swagbucks for $5 back when you buy two. It's gonna make it 36 cents for the two or just 18 cents a piece with a limit of two receipt submissions per month. So that means you can grab up to four for that same price on the same receipt. Um, so if you've done this deal already, just like I said, it's two receipt submissions per month. So definitely check the other apps, the sister apps like My Points. I think Inbox Dollars and Tada. I don't use those last two, but I do use My Points. You can grab this Airwick Advanced Plug-in Warmer for $3.98. Submit to Ibotta for $4 back. It's going to make it free. You can pick up one of these Ajax um, soaps at $2.74. You would submit over to Shopkick for 410 kicks between the buy and the scan, which is $1.64. It'll make it just a dollar and ten cents. We have our favorite little money maker on the rock stars. You want to grab two, they're a dollar eighty-eight each. That's gonna to total three seventy-six. There is a aisle rebate offer, a text offer for five dollars back. It's gonna make them a dollar and twenty-four cent money maker. I will be doing this every single time because it goes through the end of the year. And thank you guys so much. Every time you use my referral link, they send me another um chance, I guess, or offer or whatever to redeem for some more. So I'm able that's why I'm able to grab it more often but for you it is also um you can do it every other week through the end of the year so they send you um i've been seeing they send you a text too to let you know when it's time for you to redeem the next offer so this tells on the ocean spray immunity and i think this one hydration too but i should probably get the immunity because everybody around me is getting sick so they're 398 you can submit to ibotta for 75 cents back and then to fetch for a dollar and thirty cents, thirteen hundred points. So it'll make it just a dollar ninety-three, and you can grab up to four at that price because Fetch is a limit of four. I bought as a limit of five. You can pick up one of these Gatorade Fast Twitches at a dollar ninety-four. Submit to I bought it for a dollar back, and then to Fetch for a thousand points, which is roughly a dollar. It's gonna make these free and a six cent money maker. Definitely make sure you're scanning them in Ibotta though, cause not all, I think like the orange mango one isn't included. So just make sure you scan to make sure the offers attach. And the fetch is a limit of three, the Ibotta is a limit of five. So you can grab up to three at that price. So these Waterloo sparkling waters are 3.98. You can submit to Ibotta for a dollar back. It's gonna make it just 2.98. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know which one to get. I think I'm gonna get cherry limeade. So these nut paws, they're like the shelf stable ones. They're $3.97. You can submit to Ibotta for $2 back. It's gonna make them just $1.97. I'm in a limit of two, so I'm definitely grabbing two because that will count as two offers towards any bonuses as well, which is super awesome. And I love this brand. I know this isn't gonna be the most phenomenal deal, but we're gonna save some money on something. So a food item, something that's a little bit you know more better for you so i will take it these are 572 you can submit to ibotta for a dollar back and then to fetch for 1100 points which is roughly a dollar and 10 cents back so it'll make it just three dollars and 62 cents for a box with a limit of two yes i love when we can score on these type of little lunchable things it's the greenfield natural meat it's 287 you're going to want to pick up two that's going to total 574 you'll submit to fetch for 2,000 points when you buy two, which is $2. And then there's a Walmart specific offer for 75 cents when you buy two. So it'll make it $2.99 for the both or just $1.49 each, which is phenomenal for this. Um, and it's a limit of four. So you can do this deal four times. So that would mean you could get a total of eight. And now it's time to announce the winner of the giveaway, Jen Lee 4723. Thank you so much for your comment and your support. Send me an email at joyofcouponing1 at gmail.com and I will get you your $25 e-gift card. This bacon offer is still a go. The farmland bacon price at $4.98. Grab two, that's $9.96. Submit to Swagbucks for $5 back when you buy two. To check out 51 for $3.24, $1.62 on each one. It's gonna make it just 86 cents. Or if you submit to my points, the rate is a little bit higher. It's 850 points, which is $5.34. 
Um, so to com find the conversion for my points, just divide the amount of points by 159. That gives you the dollar rate. So then it would just be 69 cents each. And it is a limit of, I think it said two receipt submissions per week. I always love when we can save on things that are a little bit like super expensive, $6 and 17 cents. And that are, you know, gluten-free net carbs. I don't know about all that, but Hey, it seems like it's a better for you one. I have not looked at the ingredient list cause I'm in a rush, but you want to pick up two of them. That's going to total $12 and 34 cents. You'll submit to Swagbucks for $3.50 when you buy two, and then to check out 51 for $3.50, $1.75 on each one. It's gonna make them just $2.67 each. So another brand that I love is Siete. So these are $2.48. You can submit to Ibotta for 75 cents back. It's gonna make it just, oh gosh, I didn't even do the math, $1.73. Um, so I'm definitely gonna pick it up. I only need one more offer to complete my midweek moneymaker. So yes. You want to pick up one of these um, Kinder chocolates at $1.48, submit to Shopkick for 800 kicks, which is $3.20. It's going to make it a $1.72 money maker. Sorry, friends. No time to make this look beautiful for you guys. I got a jet. Um, oh, gosh. Yes, you can't even drive. So I'm going to break this up into two transactions. Well, three because the Rockstar, I'm doing a limit of three, and those have to be done in separate receipts. But one for the grocery, one for the household. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, usual super easy checkout process at Walmart. Just scan all your items. Two things of note, the Waterloo actually rang up a little bit cheaper. It rang up 358 and not 398, so that was awesome. But the Kinder bar that I grabbed was not the one that was $1.48. It was the one that was $2.12. Um so just definitely double check. I don't know if it was in the wrong spot. Um well, obviously it was. Or sometimes you can always scan stuff in your Walmart app because the pricing sometimes isn't like updated on their whatever. So sometimes they are higher. They just haven't updated the pricing like in the store. So with those to note, <laughs> and always make sure you clip your offers. I submitted to Ibotta and it was only showing, I knew I was going to be getting $9 back and then I was only getting um, $5 and it was for that Eric warmer. I'm like, man, Ibotta has usually been so good with picking up everything I'm grabbing at Walmart, which isn't always the case. Sometimes you do have to go back and verify, but at Walmart lately, I've been having no issues. So I went back and I, and it wasn't on my list. I'm like, what? So then I, I was like, it's gone already. It like literally just popped up this morning. But then when I went and searched it, it didn't even show it clipped. So I don't know how or why that happened. So always just make sure you know how much you're getting back from the rebate apps, just in case there's things like that. Luckily I was able to go back, clip it, and then submit my receipt, no problem. So for that um, couponing haul, I spent a total of, oh my gosh, I didn't even write it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did write it down. It was $31.90 before taxes. I'm getting back $36.39 in cash from the rebate apps. $9 plus my $5 midweek moneymaker from Ibotta, so $14 from there. $11.25 from Swagbucks. Shopmium, $4. Shopkick, $2.14. 525 kicks plus my 10 in store scan kicks. Um, but also, tip there if there's something that's in that same aisle right next and there's rebate, just scan them. They do add up because even though I didn't get like the other hello deodorant i still scan for it and got additional bonus points there or you know if you're just there you can just scan items even though you're not buying it and you get extra scan kicks and then from rockstar five dollars um from rockstar as well like i submitted my first receipt and went through right away a couple of the other ones they didn't go through so i just like resent them i just copied the picture um that i sent of my receipt pasted it and then it went through the second time so if it doesn't go through right away maybe try that um, cause then you, you'll get a like confirmation that says money's on your way or whatever. So then that puts this haul at a $4 and 49 cent moneymaker, but for my cash budget, because I did swipe my card for $34 and 32 cents after taxes, but I'm getting back that 36 39 in cash, all of that straight cash back coming to me. So it's a dollar 97 cash moneymaker. So that is super cool. And then now for my grocery budget, it was $55.22 between the two receipts because I did do one Rockstar and that um, Kinder chocolate bar on one receipt. That way, 
because it is a limit of one receipt one yeah one one submission per receipt so yeah so you'd have to break them up if you're gonna do that so I'm getting back $42.23 in rebates from I bought a seven dollars and fifty cents from Shopkick 800 kicks three dollars and twenty cents from Swab Swab <laughs> Swagbucks ten dollars from checkout 51 six dollars and 48 cents I did notice when I went to go submit my receipt it did say very few left on the bacon again it said that last week too but then it kind of like renewed so definitely double check that as well and make sure you grab it sooner rather than later if you want to score that bacon for super cheap from fetch 5,000 um, plus points and then rockstar ten dollars because I'm counting two receipts towards that so that puts this at just $12.99 coming out of my grocery budget for things that we definitely need, definitely going to use. So I'm super excited about that. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And any questions, comments, drop them down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. See you guys in the next one. Bye.